and talk about going after your dreams in 2020. Martha Cooper Hudson is a motivational speaker and author, and she's here this morning to give us some inspiration. She's sharing the five stages of giving birth to your dreams this year. Martha, good morning. Thanks good for being morning. here today. Thank you, Colleen. Giving for birth me. to our dreams. We yes. go through these different stages. That's the right. first stage, you say, is the happy and excited stage. Let's talk about that. That's right. That stage is just like when you find that news, when you take that test and you find out that news that you're having your bundle of joy and you want to share it with the world. You want to post it on social media. You want to yell it from the highest mountain. You want to share it with everyone around you and your mm -hmm. family. But that may not be the best thing for you to do because it takes us into the next stage, That's which right. is the fear of the unknown. And that might be the stage where you go, oh my gosh, I don't really know how to launch a business. And then you start to get kind of scared about your dream. Absolutely. And this happens to everyone. Mm -hmm. Anyone who says they were never afraid to launch their business, they're lying. Yes. Uh, because that fear of failure and that fear of success, it's real. Mm -hmm. People fear failing and they fear succeeding because when you succeed, you have to leave some of the people behind that you thought may have been with you always. With that also, when you are afraid, you're asking yourself, do they really want what I have to give? Am I I'm more than enough for them to actually want and invest in what it is that I'm willing to birth here mm -hmm. on this planet. So you go through that fear of that, that fear stage and that fear of failure and success. It is definitely real and everyone feels it. However, success, fear is the seasoning for your success. So you have to fail in order for you to know how to succeed. It's the truth. Yes. All right, the next stage is the keep it to yourself stage. So going back to the first stage where you said you've got this idea, you want to share it with everybody. Yes. But then you do kind of move into that maybe, that's discernment, right? Absolutely. Thinking, I may not want to tell everybody everything I'm doing. Absolutely, because you go back and you realize that everyone that you've shared it with, even those loved ones and those friends and family members, everyone that you've shared it with, now they're not happy for what it is that you've shared with them. They're not excited. They are only tolerating you. They're not celebrating you. And so now they start to put that doubt and unbelief inside of you saying, hey, that's not good enough. No one's going to invest in what it is that mm -hmm. you want. And so you start to keep it to yourself because they they are not praying for you, they're mm -hmm. praying on you. Mm -hmm. And so when you realize that, you start to keep those things to yourself until you're ready to deliver it. Because a blessing too soon is not a blessing at all. Mm -hmm. It can cause you to miscarry your dream and mm -hmm. your purpose. Well, hopefully though, you have some people in your corner there who, who are rooting for yes. you, right? Yes, you have to. Yeah. No one can reach that step without having a supportive environment and team that's going to help you climb that mountain. All right, we've got about a minute left, Martha. I want to talk about the investment stage. What's yes. that? That investment stage, it is a must. In order for you to carry out your dreams and your purpose on this planet, you have to invest in a coach. Every great player has a coach. Mm -hmm. So you have to invest in a coach. You have to invest in your skills and your knowledge in order to bring forth that dream, that goal, and that purpose on this planet. It it's money well spent. It really is an Absolutely. investment in yourself. And then yes. the, lastly, the push stage. Persevere <laughs> until something happens. Mm -hmm. You continue to push, Colleen, no matter what. You never give up. You push through. And even when in those darkest days, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Because what you have is more than enough. And someone is waiting for you to bring that to this earth. So go get it. Don't stop. And never allow someone else to tell you that you can't. Because no matter how old you are, or no matter how young you are, you can bring forth those dreams yeah. and your purpose on this planet. Woo, I believe it. Yes. I know that it's true. Right, I sister. know that it's true. Go to MarthaCooperHudson.com for more information. MarthaCooperHudson.com. Thank you so much. Yes.